Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. In this video, I will be hanging my second ever show at the Lindo Mexico Gallery. The show's title is called The Michigan Experience, so it's all artwork kind of centered around Michigan themes. I will also be sending some of my own artwork to other galleries around Grand Rapids, and this all happened in about the same week, so I thought it would all go well together. So let's get started. It's gonna be a good time. We're hanging the gallery. I already tried to record this once. Hi. We're eating Taco Bell. Even oh, though we're in a Mexican restaurant. I only ever eat Taco Bell when I'm with you. I did once without you. I only eat Taco Bell with you as well. Okay, here's a tour. <laughs> Hi, it's me on the voiceover, and this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The tour of the Lindo Mexico Gallery. Start the beauty guru Hi. music. Oh, sorry, the door must have been locked. Come on in. So this is the gallery. Uh, this is the waiting room of the restaurant slash the gallery. This is one of my paintings. It's a painting of my dad and my brother. Then moving on, we have a few more of mine as well as you come in, which are just cheaper little flower paintings. And then if you come this way, we have this beautiful wall of IOs of all the artists, because um, we really want to celebrate the artists here. And then if you come on in, this is the gallery area where people can sit and come and look at the artwork. We have a ton of artists right now. We're doing a show called The Michigan Experience where we wanted the artists to create pieces that remind them of Michigan. So we have animals, we have nature, we have people, we have landscapes of Michigan. We have this artist, his name is Ryan Crawley. He does like urban artwork that's mixed with nature, which is really cool. And then this one is done by an artist named Arturo, who does acrylic paintings and he stretches his own, his own canvases, which is really cool. And then there's some more paintings up here. This is a permanent installment at the gallery. This is one of my paintings. And then behind this annoying light is another painting by, her name's Jamie Shackleton. And then um, another one by Ryan Crawley, which is a raccoon. If you come around here, this is both of my paintings. This is a self-portrait. I made myself look better than what I actually am. And then this is a fish, which probably looks more similar to me, actually. These are some more of Arturo's paintings. He has a fence one, which I love. And then a tulip one. Um, and these are also some of Jamie's, who did the Back in the Island Bridge one earlier. She does a lot of mandalas that focus on nature and Michigan elements, things that she can find in her backyard is what she told me earlier today. And then finishing it out with another piece by Arturo, which turned out beautifully. That concludes the end of the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I put a lot of hard work into the show and organizing the artists and organizing the pieces, making sure that everything was hung correctly and making sure that every artist has an opportunity to kind of get their voice out equally. I also wanted to mention a few things. I tried to in a separate video clip, but all the dates that I mentioned were wrong. If you're watching this video now, the show is still gonna be up until August 12, 2019. So you still have a while to go and see it. And then the gallery will also be doing a artist reception for the artists and for the public to come and see. So it'll be from six o'clock to eight o'clock on August 6th. And we'll be having free appetizers and hopefully a bunch of the artists show up who have pieces there. Um, we just really wanna celebrate them and make sure that they can kind of get their moment of glory. So it should be a good time. I will put the flyer for the show right here. And then you can come and see it and yeah let's get on with the video i just drove down to grand rapids so like 30 minutes away to an art gallery named lions and rabbits because yesterday i hung my show at linda mexico which i kind of all my newer pieces go there i guess just because i work for that one i get all the money for it if something does well like I don't have to give a commission to people. Lines of Rabbits is where I usually put like my older pieces because they'll accept my older pieces, which by old, I mean they've been around for like a month. But last year I had my art exhibiting there, currently do with two flower pieces, but they just contacted me and said that they were looking for more art. So I'm dropping it off today. And I was supposed to, it's like nine, nine o'clock right now. 
and I told them that I'd be there at 10 to drop off the pieces, but I realized I have to work at Subway at 10, so at like 1 in the morning last night, I contacted the lady I'm meeting and was like, hey, can I meet you at 9? Because she's gonna, she told me she'd be there at 9 anyways, so I'm dropping off the old pieces at Lindo, at Lions and Rabbits, and yeah, it's just like exciting stuff. Hopefully they can, they're here soon. I'm probably gonna wait like 10 minutes. So, turns out that I actually was responsible and told the lady for meeting, her name's Dana, that I'd meet her tomorrow, the whole time. I told her that I'd meet her on Wednesday at 10 instead of today. So I'm just a flippin' idiot. It's the next day, I'm wearing the same clothes, but I actually dropped off my pieces just now and I got these old ones back, which I really love how they turned out. And I met with Dana, who works there. She was just really sweet, and she told me, she's like, I just love your art. And I was like, thank you. It means a lot, because I think she's really cool. She asked me where I was going to college, and I think said, get some pieces back. Um, and now I have to go to work, because my manager scheduled me at 10, and it's like 10. She said I could be late, but I don't want to be that late. What's up? I am going to drop off another piece off at the UICA in Grand Rapids. It's the Urban Institute of Contemporary Arts. I think it's part of Kendall College or something, but my piece, she's actually here with us right now. If you want to see her, look at her. There she is. She's my lady in waiting. I'm dropping her off for an art competition there, which is for a bunch of high school students, I think. Someone tagged me on Facebook and I was like, okay, I'll submit some pieces. And they like this one enough to put it in the gallery. And so it's gonna be shown for like a few months actually. And then I'm going to possibly sell it. I think I might be hard for me to sell. Now we're on the way to Clarissa's house to pick her up because we're gonna bring her along. And she's gonna be lovely gal. Hey! That's me. Oh no. We're going to get food. We got sushi. Can you pinch the camera? David, I can't get you 74 cantaloupes. You only have 73. <laughs> All right, so that kind of concludes the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like and subscribe. Say whatever you want in the comments down below if you want. The last clip was a little bit mishmatched. Um, I'll explain a little bit. So Clarissa and I drove down to the UICA, which I mentioned to drop off my piece, but I didn't get any clips of like me dropping off artwork there. But we basically dropped off the artwork and went and got sushi and ice cream. So that's it. And so again, thank you for watching. I will play you guys out with a video of me playing with a dog with Clarissa and her cousin. So I will see you guys on the next one. Are you vlogging? Oh my gosh, my friend's nails look amazing.